Hello and welcome to Little Story Station. We are looking at 9 days of Navratri here at Little Story Station. And this is your own Gomati auntie. How have you guys been? I hope you are following this uh, Navratri series and looking at all the different forms of uh, the Durga Devi, the Navadurgas as uh, we call them. If not, I highly urge you to go and take a look at all of those episodes that we have read in Little Story Station so far. I will leave a link for those episodes here. So, go and take a look at them. Will you? Alright. So, today is day 5 of Navratri. And today, Goddess Durga comes to us in the form of Skanda Mata. And we are reading Navadurga written by Nalini Ramachandran throughout the series. Shall we read on to find out what is the story behind Skandamata? Let's go. Skandamata, a mother to everyone. After Parvati and Shiva were married, and started living happily on Mount Kailash, they soon welcomed a son and named him Skanda. He was no ordinary boy. He had great powers even as a child. And it had been foretold that he will become an extraordinary warrior. On the fifth day of Navratri, Parvati is worshipped as Skanda Mata the mother of Skanda. Skanda is none other than Kartikeya or Lord Muruga as he is called in Tamil Nadu. The God of War When Sage Narada had met Shailaputri for the first time at King Hemavad's palace, remember that story? Remember how Narada went to uh, uh, you know Shailaputri and told her about uh, uh, Taraka Sura and that uh, you know she had to marry Shiva so that Taraka Sura can be destroyed through the warrior son that they will bear one day. Yes, that is the link that we are having all the way from the day one, the Shailaputri's form of Goddess Durga to here, um, you know, Skandamata. He had told her that an Asura called Tharaka had been scaring the Devas. He had also requested the goddess to marry Shiva as Tharaka had been given a boon by Brahma. Only Shiva's son can kill you. The troubled gods had been waiting for a long time to be freed from Tharaka's cruel rule. Firstly, Sati had to be reborn as Parvati. Then she had to grow up. Then she had to find Shiva and meditate for over 5000 years to win his heart and marry him. Then their son Skanda had to be born and he had to grow up a little too. Phew! That's a long way, don't you think? So now that Skanda was ready to fight Tarkasura, the gods were thrilled. All of them came to meet Parvati's son. Oh brave Skanda, we make you the commander in chief of the army of Devas. Please take our best weapons. These will help you in this fight, they told him. As her dear son was leaving for battle, Parvati took the form of Durga to bless him, giving him a spear-like weapon known as the veil. She said, The lives and hopes of so many gods depend on you, Skanda. Fight well, my boy. Win this war and bring them joy. I promise you, ma, Dharakasura will pay for his grief. And Devalok will be freed, Skanda declared. On the battlefield, Tharka was amused when he saw the young boy entering. 
and moving on today to look at how Navratri is celebrated in Gujarat. Shall we read on? Garba, Gujarat. Garba, a famous dance that comes from the state of Gujarat, is performed on all nine nights. And this makes Navratri the world's longest dance festival. People also place a pot with a lamp inside in an open space or ground and perform the Ras Garba dance around it. Earlier, dancers used to perform another type of Garba known as Mata no Garbo. In this dance, they would twirl in a circular formation while balancing lit pots on their heads. Wow! That's a skill. These days, they mostly perform a dance called Dhandiya Ras. Dressed in colourful, shiny clothes, they go around in a circle, tapping the decorated sticks they hold in their hands against the sticks of their dance partners. They call it the uh, dance sticks, right? The kolatam, they call it kolatam in Tamil. So, uh, those sticks make very beautiful uh, sounds when they strike, uh, you know, together or with your partner, dance partner, right? So, Gharba is a very beautiful and very colourful and energetic dance festival celebrated in Gujarat. I hope you had fun learning about Skandamata today and I hope you also find a place where you can go and perform your um, Gharba dance today and throughout the um, festival of Navratri. I will see you again tomorrow with uh, the sixth day and story of uh, another form of Goddess Durga. Until then, take care and read a lot of books you guys. Bye!